Chicago's News Channel 7. This is the News at 4. And welcome to the News at 4. I'm Shira Matsuzawa. And I'm Doug Petcash. A Boise social media influencer faced a judge just a couple hours ago. The Ada County Sheriff's Office says Natalie Hodson hit and killed a woman on the side of the road and just kept driving. Yeah, we were there in court as she was arraigned today. The court denied our request to allow cameras inside, but Hodson appeared before a judge via a video arraignment. And her appearance comes less than 24 hours after police arrested her in connection with a crash that killed 39 year old Christina Rowley on Highway 55. She faces felony charges of vehicular manslaughter and leaving the scene of an injury crash. Now Hodson is well known on social media with more than 91,000 followers on Instagram. The Ada County Sheriff's Office says a witness called 911 to report the crash just before 930 last night on Highway 55 between Beacon Light and Siemens Gulch Road. The sheriff's office says a witness followed Hodson a short distance before she was pulled over on Settle Lake Drive. Paramedics took the victim to the hospital where she later died. Today in court, the state recommended bond be set at $250,000. They say Hodson initially repeatedly denied hitting anything as well as driving under the influence, but later changed her story and said she thought she hit a mailbox and admitted to drinking before driving. The state also revealed the 16 year old son of the victim witnessed the crash. A friend of the court who appeared on Hodson's behalf asked the judge to set bond at $25,000. He says that the 37 year old has no criminal history and has two kids. The judge set bail at $50,000. He also issued a pretrial release order, which includes Hodson is not allowed to leave Ada or Boise County and will be fitted with a GPS device to ensure that. Today, when Alex Duggan and I myself were in court today, the judge mentioned Hudson faces up to 20 years in jail and fines up to $20,000. And you could visibly see her get emotional when the judge said that. Now she's expected back in court on August 23rd.